Hi everyone, I hope you are well. Happy Father's Day. We're on the summer solstice tomorrow, so this is the solstice eve and Mercury on the 22nd goes back direct. Jupiter is going into retrograde today and when this happens, when two planets are changing direction, especially when one's going direct, or if they're going in retrograde, there comes a, 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 a synaptical illusion that they 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 become they come still that they're not moving, but it is an optical illusion. They are still moving in the right direction. It's just how we perceive it from Earth. When this happens, when the two planets now Mercury is going back direct and it will still be in its shadow for two weeks, but will feel um, a lot lighter. Jupiter starts to go in retrograde. So we're in this time of the two planets slowing down, ready to go in, in which either direction. And when this happens, it it is a reminder for us to slow down. The, the planets are showing us and speaking to us and, and speaking us to us through energy so when this slowing down and stopping or perceiving to stop it's time for us to really sit back and rest look at what mercury has taught us since it's been in retrograde the, the magician that has shown us how we're thinking shown us how we're communicating making us aware of what words and thoughts are no longer serving us. Jupiter is the planet of action. So Jupiter asks us to just sit back and look at our, our actions still in accordance with us moving up through our frequencies, through our ascension process. And to revisit or reflect on any actions and triggers and how we have reacted to, to situations that are going on around us. So this is a time of really sitting back, looking at thoughts and, and words and communication that we are passing on to others that is not of a high frequency, that is that we do not want to manifest and looking at how we react how we are triggered and just going in and looking how certain things might bring up emotions, anger or whatever it is and none of that serves us, it really doesn't, it just does not do anyone any good. So th at this time the planets are asking us, the cosmos is asking us to just step back, look at how are you thinking, how, are you, how you've been communicating, what you've been listening to. Have you been listening to fearful news or stories? Or are you listening to your own inner guidance and listening to that inner sat-nav inside that will never guide us wrong? Are we reacting in a way of coming from any lower emotions, any, any conflicts. And so uh, today is one of respite, of resting, of standing back, of just reflecting these major planets. They're moving in the cosmos to help us to look within and bring up what it, what is not serving us what is keeping us in the lower dimension of control in the third dimensional matrix so as we are spending today and tomorrow with the solstice tomorrow just taking in the light that there, there are, there's a celestial portal opening up for us all to channel through and anchor into the earth and as we're anchoring it into the earth it, it 
merges into our own bodies and our own cells. So beautiful light entering it, heavenly light, all the way from the very heart of the universe coming through all the suns coming through bringing all the divine intelligence through each sun through each planet each planet that has ascended all those cosmic beings that are ascended and bringing all that beautiful wisdom with light through particles of light for us to absorb and anchor into the earth. Don't try and grasp any messages, like I will always say, our words, our thoughts, and uh, no match for the magnificence of the heavenly light that is coming to earth. It comes through as a vibration, a high vibration. So the best thing to do is today, and today is Father's Day, the day before the solstice, the, the day before the celebration of the longest day of the sun. Father energy, masculine energy on Father's Day, the creator's energy. So giving thanks to our fathers and our forefathers for everything that they have gone through to bring us here at this time. Without them, we would not be here. We would not be experiencing life. We would not have our children, our grandchildren, great grandchildren and, and the generations to come. Pick flowers today and bring them into your, into your home because they're, they're full of that creative energy or buy a plant and bring it into your home if you don't like uh, picking flowers buy a plant and bring it into your home and bring that energy in that creative energy of the sun so i'm asking for a message for us all today asking the angels to bring through anything that we need to know any messages for the collective for anybody who watches this video and I ask it's for our highest good so I'm asking the angels for any messages or anything that we need to know and I'm asking for three cards and I will read the card at the base of the pack at the bottom of the pack also so I'm asking for a message for us all on this solstice eve Go. It's two, three, there we go. So we have three cards and we have again the five of the earth. So this is looking at everything that we've not got. This is really, and, and, and to do with health as well. The earth cards are to do with finances and health. So if you're feeling exhausted or you're feeling you're not feeling 100% or you are going through some health challenges rest don't go into battle with any tiredness or any any disharmony within the body don't go into battle with it it's telling us something our body our body speaks to us and so when we're putting when we when we're under a lot of stress our body will ache in certain places so if it's the shoulders we know we're carrying burdens life's getting a burden it, and if it's the left shoulder it's female and it's past so you know the the legs are about taking a step forward and so when you look at where on your body that is causing um uh, discomfort if it's the hands it's we're grasping onto something and when we're aching when we've got achy joints all over we're very self-critical we don't see the love we don't see the beauty of ourselves and when we go into that core within us that that divine source energy which is pure beauty it, it, it doesn't hold anything else and we're all so different and we're all beautiful in our own way 
when we connect with that inner core of who we truly are and move ourselves out the way and and stop being critical of ourselves and judging ourselves if it's to do with finances and we're looking at we would like a nicer house or we would like more money or a better paid career we're, we're coming from a place of lack the the energy that's coming through is is bringing up the shadow side so if there's any of that going on in your life bring it back just listen to where your thoughts are going pay attention to where your thoughts keep drifting to and how those thoughts are making you feel and then cultivate breathe healing in breathe light into those thoughts and those feelings because they are not coming from a high frequency they're not coming from they're not heavenly messages they're coming from an ego of lack and not seeing the beauty of and the miracle of life we have the hermit and the hermit is saying stay focused he has all the planets there connecting with all the planets making us aware that when the planets start to shift in the cosmos it shifts within us so our chakras are connected to the planets we each born on in the horoscope in the astrology under a sign and we'll all have those traits of that sign that's how powerful the planets are so when they start moving a vibration creates in the in the cosmos that that ripples out through all the universe and and comes to earth and will affect us so Archangel Raziel is the magician of the Archangel realm and he is saying use these energies for your benefit because when we don't know what is happening we keep tripping over the same old lessons, the same old situations. Archangel Raziel is saying reflect, look at how these feelings are, are being brought up, that's what the, the planets are, are helping and assisting us with. They're doing their part for our ascension and for Earth's ascension. So Archangel Raziel is saying this is a time of self-discovery, of really listening and not getting swept away with your own thoughts and, and your own perception. Because if your thoughts are not right, your perception is going to be way off. And, if, and you know, Mercury is still in retrograde and it's still going to be like this for a couple of weeks but not as intense and it is it's showing me the first half of the week because there's so much energy coming in not to take things personally what anybody else is doing to really let go of those those pains those fears and help you to stop getting entangled into painful emotions and painful thoughts as we start untangling this is the fourth dimension when we start getting tangled up in things we're stuck in the fourth dimension when we start to to just cut those cards calling Archangel Michael to please cut these cards and Archangel Raphael to please cauterize each end of each severed cord with the golden light of un unconditional love and just letting go that way and and it's so freeing because we stop thinking about it we stop over analyzing things lots of people who come to me they have energies just f flowing around the heads just going round and round in circles and they're all questions that they keep asking that only god's got the answer to they're never going to find them in their own mind and the divine will answer our questions through signs and symbols and, and maybe other people bringing us messages but also will we'll show us that we, we come to a certain place in our lives and we look back and all everything that we've asked has been shown to us and we've moved in an intuitive way without even realizing it's only when you look back you realize 
that's why that happened and this is why I did that and it's so enlightening when that happens we read ourselves from the back up to this present moment not from here into the future whatever we keep thinking about focusing on we are going to create it Archangel Raziel is saying surround yourself with like-minded people people that that don't discourage you that that really uh that that understand you that in, that you're on the same wavelength and and at the more people you surround yourself with like that that then, then it just gets more and more and don't try and fit in to people that that don't really understand you that that are completely on on a different wavelength it's okay to just move away and not in any intentional way just see just allow your soul to guide you without any emotional attachment and getting upset with people and just know that life is for living and, and the more we move and change this is the evolution of humankind at this time we're going through a massive transition earth's going through a transition everybody on the planet is going through a transition and we're all going to feel it and feel it differently get to know yourself and how it how it is affecting you calling the angels and calling archangel raziel in to help bring harmony within listen to the planets and uh, because once they start moving in the sky, that is okay. I, I can be aware of that. I know Jupiter is the planet of action and it's going in retrograde. So it's just asking me to reevaluate. Am I going in my right direction? Am I, am I being driven by my heart, my passion, my soul? Am I going into a place of feeling overstressed at, at anything in my life? And it's just to 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 look at it that way and and know that right this situation stressing me. Take a deep breath and let it go. Take a deep breath and call for help, heavenly help. A lot of people find it hard to ask for help, but ask for your angels. And if you if there's a situation in your family or your friends that is causing little bits of upset within you call on their angels and your angels to to really speak to one another no angel will ever go into conflict with another angel ever your angel will speak in a way of unconditional love and their angel will reply in a in a in a, in a, a with unconditional love and that will filter down and and it, it resolves problems that way without us having to to come in face to face and go two egos coming together one's got a completely different way of thinking the other's got the other and they both feel that they're right and they are both right for them so speak to your higher self or your 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 guardian angel to speak to their guardian angel instead of allowing anything that comes up because these next few days it is one of just stepping back and not not if somebody says something to you or gives you some kind of advice that it's like Oof where did that come from i just that i they don't know me to give me that advice know that it's okay let it go we don't have to stand up and start pointing the finger and just let it go because later on when all this energy settles we'll probably listen to that advice and say oh thank you for that thank you it's just the energy at this moment don't dive in don't let it tempt you into it the ace of water falling in love these love cards keep coming up um listening to your intuition and also a new home so wherever this is in in your life wherever you're wherever you're needing archangel raziel's help in your life even with the five of earth fives are always change 
and and challenges so if you're feeling challenged where your your health is or where your finances are call the angels in for help and just look around at, at, at everything around you at how lucky we are that we, we're even we have got breath because if that breath went we would not last five minutes and we just take that breath so much for granted and when we're worrying we shallow breathe until we cause respiratory disarmony disease uh, and then we're wondering you know oh why we're ill and it's the worry and the stress take nice deep breaths breathe in the fullness of life breathe in the fullness of everything around you come from a place of gratitude coming from a place of gratitude will bring in more things to be grateful for that's how the universe works if the universe sees us we have all this and we've fed up and we're shouting at the universe because it's not moving fast enough and we, we are moaning about everything in our lives the universe will just sit back like we would with our children if they are not happy if they're not showing appreciation we will just step back it's the same so be grateful show great that you're grateful for the smallest nuance in your life taking the breath and taking nice deep breaths and taking the fullness of life and the base of the pack is the ace of fire so the ace of fire is new beginnings this is a beautiful card career advancement extra finances coming in a change of life so wherever you're changing in your life and it's and you're going through a place of maybe taking less for moving into a career that you're taking less in know that that is going to build that you sometimes when we're going out on um on a different path there's a loss involved and if we feel that loss and we we all try and grasp hold of it and start worrying about it we take that energy in onto our new path so let go this has come through quite a few times this week quite a few we we live in an abundant world we are our own creators what we focus on expands if we focus on joy it will joy will grow more things come into our life that make us happy if we if we focus on because somebody's upset us and we're angry we'll look at everything around us to feed that anger it's our choice and this is now the balance of we can go that way or this way this way following the joy following the gratitude will just dissolve that it'll take it away let go of your worries this changes but the the are the changes coming in but it's part of our evolution it's part of our growth we are moving forward and as we are evolving all parts of us that need to evolve will come to the surface we have our ancestors memory beliefs talking to us all the time in the old ways in a way of that they were controlled we are breaking free of that and helping our ancestors to break free as well so as we break free of it and know that whatever comes to me, I have a choice. I can say yeah or no without any emotional attachment. Yeah to things that uplift us. No to things that we that, that actually steal our energy. It's the same with our thoughts, the, our feelings. It's the same with the situations around us. And if we are in a place that... We have to go because there's no choice. Uh, sit, take light, absorb light while you're there. B take your attention to your breath, to the anything that you can be grateful for while you're in those situations. And use the situations for your growth. 
not to hold you in a lower vibration. Use it for your growth. Use it for your learning. These things don't last. They don't last. And we always come out of these dark nights of the soul. The, 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 the earth is going through a dark night of the soul. And lots of people on earth are going through a dark night of the soul. But we always come out of them more alive than ever. Loving life. So grateful for life. So I'm sending so much love and angel blessings and healing to anybody who needs it call your angels in don't worry worry is a, a waste of imagination use your imagination to visualize uplifting visions and things that that creative visions get creative in your mind uh, uh, of uplift, creating uplifting um, things for yourself, for for everyone around you. So I'm sending so much love and angel blessings, and thank you for listening. God bless. Thank you.